So I wake up, I sit here for a minute, I wipe the crap out of my eyeballs. Yeah, it's six o'clock in the morning, Candace. It is six o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. Now, back in the day, you would still be sleeping, okay? But these aren't those times anymore because you got to get up. You have places to go, people to see, people to meet, dreams to happen. You got to get up and be an adult. Why, Lord? Why, why, why? <sighs> yep, you have your hissy fit. All right, now get up. Get out of the bed, champ. Come on, come on. Sit up. Ain't nothing in your eyeball. Stop being dramatic. You got to get up, Candace. You got somewhere to go. And you got to be there by 7 o'clock, so get up. Come on, girl. Come, come on. Yep, pray to him. Talk to him, Lord. I'm trying to figure out why I got to get up this early. Get up. Put your slippers on. Girl, them pajamas is cute. Thank you, Mom, for the pajamas. Yeah, them pajamas real cute. That bonnet. Don't mind my bonnet, okay? Get up. Put your shoes on. Come on. House slippers is cold in here. You didn't turn the heat on last night. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ponder. Think about it. Now, make up this bed like your mama taught you. Come on. Yo, you ain't that sleepy, Candace. Come on. You ain't that sleepy. Come on, make up the bed, make it up, put, fix the bed, the covers. How do you be sleeping, girl? Why is the pillows everywhere? Girl, who is you playing? You about to get right back in the bed. Leave that right where it is. Let's go. We got things to do. Get up. Wake up. You can do this, Candace. You can adult. You are strong. You are smart. You is kind. Oh, you're breasting. You is important, girl. Get up. We got to go to... We got to go be an adult. Can you hear me, kid? We got to go be an adult. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the day in the life of adulting and how it sucks. Please don't ever grow up, children. All right, first things first. It's 6.56 in the morning. I'm kind of late. I should have been there by now. Um, I'm headed to the mechanics to get an oil change because that's what you have to do when you're an adult you got to get oil changes and tire rotations and make sure your car is working great so i'm going to be responsible and after that i'm going to keep being responsible because i gotta get my taxes done i gotta clean my house i have to go get some groceries because i'm having a taco night tonight like i have things that i have to do this is every every day this is why you guys should be kids for the rest of your life if you can Here is the place you come to get your tires fixed, your oil changed, things rotated in an alignment. I like to call it the place where your bank account dies, where you slowly watch all the hard-earned money you had be depleted from your bank account. Welcome to Firestone, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Firestone. So once they've uh, taken your keys, you got to sit here and you got to wait. What do you do? You, you get on Instagram, you chat, you pray to the Lord that it don't cost you more than what you budgeted for. You just wait, honestly, and you just wait. Seven hours later. 
oh no still waiting here still still waiting on them to fix my car please hurry up i don't know what's taking so long but at this point i'm the only one here and i came in here first so like can we can we speed it up please i have things to do i have more stupid adulting to do more can you can you speed it up Hey, let me just be honest with y'all. Okay, I'm gonna be real honest. Y'all know I'm about transparency. I am this close, this close, this close to picking up my stuff, moving to Atlanta, and becoming a stripper. Yep, mm hmm. I'm finna come work for Magic City or Blue Flame because, baby girl, the strippers make more money than I make. Or I'm going to date a drug dealer. Like, at this point, those are my two options right now, okay? I don't understand. Lord, I'm paying my tithes. I'm faithfully serving. I need you to open up the windows of heaven and pour me out a blessing right now. Right now. Baby, I... Mm. So, this morning, I woke up. I was like, I need to go do some adult things because I just need to go be an adult. So, I was like, okay, I'm going to go... Um, get an oil change that'll cost me $25 and I'm gonna go detail my car wash my car go grocery shopping I need to go get some things so I go to the mechanics I'm sitting and I'm waiting patiently and the mechanic comes over to me he says Candace I said oh lord somebody in my wounded said I needed a tire but I didn't know I needed all this so like he was like yeah so you need a tire because your front tire is tearing and he said and low-key on the right tire and the front is tearing as well I said, okay, so I need two tires. He said, you also need an alignment. Did you realize your car was shaking when you drove? I said, honestly, I don't realize anything. I just drive. Like, I be praying by faith that nothing happens and I just keep moving. Like, how am I supposed to know it needs an alignment? I am not a dude. Like, nobody taught me this, okay? Because I was too busy learning angle, side, angle, slope, and math equations that I don't need. That's what I was learning. Don't nobody teach me nothing about mechanics. We didn't even have a mechanic. We didn't have auto nothing in school, okay? So I don't know nothing about cars. Whew. Okay, so then he was like, yeah, so you need this. I said, okay, so I, I, I'm not in Fast and Furious. Okay, I don't drift anywhere. I don't understand why I keep needing tires. I don't understand. I said, but sir, do I need a new car as well? Because the money that I keep pouring out, like, should I just get a new car? Because she's almost paid off. And honestly, I'm just, whew. Okay, so then um, after he said that, I was like, I mean, okay, well, I have to pay for it. Like, I have to because, like. That's the thing about adulting. It doesn't matter how much it costs. You have to buy it because what? You need it. Like, what you going to do without it? Especially if your parents don't live here. Like, if I was in Florida and this happened, I would have threw my car to my dad and said, can you just figure it out? Because I just can't. But I live here. Ain't no man here. It's me by myself. No help. Okay? So I got to do it by myself. I said, okay, well, I'll be back. And uh, he was like, well, you could just take. He was like, you have errands to run? I said, yeah. He was like, okay, so I'm going to put some random tires on your car. And you go do your, your, your errands and then I'll call you when the stuff is ready and you come back and you get the car fixed. I said, okay, cool. So as I was walking out the door, I was so defeated. <laughs> I said, yep, I got to start stripping today, right now. Kenneth, you got to get skinny, whatever you got to do, get slim thick so you can toot it and boot it. Cause baby, you got to get some money. Cause I don't know what's going on. So I text my father. I said, dad, can I come live with you and mom? Because at this point I'm just tired of spending money and I told my dad what I had to spend money for. And let me tell y'all, my dad is so cute. He's so precious. So he calls me and he said, Cam's, what you got to spend money on? And I was like, well, this, this, and this, and this, and this. And do you know what this man did? This wonderful human being of a man was like, well, um, I can transfer some money. I said, no, I'm going to pay for it. Ooh, that was that was a lot for me, y'all. Okay, because listen, when my daddy offers to pay for anything, I willingly let him. Okay, because, and you know, I'm trying to do better because men keep telling me like women like me are impossible to date because we're daddy's girl and i'm just like look i'm not gonna apologize that your mama slept with a bald head deadbeat and you didn't have no good father like i'm not gonna apologize like i'm sorry that my dad treats me with respect and i'm sorry that my dad always comes through i love that man so much so basically he was like yeah you can come live with me and i was like boy bye okay like y y you say that but my mama don't want me there my mama want me to grow up baby v do not want me living off her man for the rest of her my life so yeah i'm finna um I gotta go do the rest of this adult stuff, but I just want to be transparent. Y'all, pray, pray my strength, for real, because I'm this close to being a stripper. Like, I can twerk, too. Like, I'm this close. Finna give me a little twerk class. I gotta give me some upper body strength, and I'm gonna be tutored. Hey, city girls and all, I'm gonna be ready, because this money, okay? I ain't got no kids, so I ain't get no tax refund. Like, yep, I gotta do something. <sighs>
honestly in this adult life all you do is spend money okay so since i spent 560 dollars on the outside of the car the inside of the car on the tires i might as well make sure it looks good make sure the tires shine a little bit shouldn't i so i just keep spending money because i can't stop because that's an adult life you just work you make money you pay bills you die you make money you pay bills you die you make money you, you pay bills you wash cars this is all you do all you do all you do So, who guys, adulting really sucks. So I'm in the grocery store now, getting groceries and stuff for tonight. Um, after I go grocery shopping, I gotta cook the groceries. I gotta clean. I just got a lot to do and it's just no hours of the day. I'm totally exhausted. Honestly, the whole car thing just threw me for a loop today. Not gonna lie, the car thing just really, it took me there, y'all. I almost lost my cool, but God said not so. Now look, the grocery store doesn't even have the soap I need to use to wash my body. I am through for today. I am drove. I just need to go home and try it again tomorrow. <clears throat> don't grow up, y'all. It's a trap. I promise y'all don't grow up. Baby, how does Walmart not have the soap? Like, they got everything else but the soap I need. I am blowed. So now I'm going to sing and dance around when I should be cleaning and hurrying up to do everything I have to do because people start coming in your house in about two hours and you don't even care. I'm just going to keep singing Keisha Cole and dream of a better life. Honestly, singing makes me forget that I just spent a whole bunch of money. I'm going to sing about something sad and sorrowful. Make me forget about my bank account and how much money I just lost. So yeah, I'm going to keep singing and dancing around and playing around when I should be hurrying up because I have things to do. gosh what a day i am so tired i just need to lay here for a few more minutes just just a few i just oh my god lord jesus help me i'm so tired oh lord i'm so tired i'm so tired oh my god i gotta get up there's people coming over in like about an hour Kenneth, get your butt up come on come on come on girl get up get up come on come on <sighs> so ladies and gentlemen what did we learn about adulting it sucks that's what we learned. Adulting sucks. Don't ever grow up. It's a trap. See, because they tell you the best part about growing up is that you get to live on your own. But they don't tell you that you got to pay the rent <laughs> and the water <laughs> and the lights, baby. I'm sitting in the dark right now. I, no, I pay my bills. Like, don't play. I pay my bills. It's just I'm sitting in the dark because I'm just sitting in the dark right now. I, sometimes I do that. I sit in the dark because I just need to think about some things. Adulting is, is a scam, okay? Don't ever grow up. If you if you live with your parents, stay there. Stay there for the rest of your life. Don't ever leave, okay? Because all adulting is, is you making money and then them taking money. And then you make some more money and then they take it. And then you make some more money, then they take it. And then, like, you think you're going to get some money back for your taxes. But if you ain't got no man or no kid, you ain't getting squat. So they punish you for not having a kid or a man. So I'm thinking like maybe by next tax season, I'll just produce a little offspring. Can you count a pet on your taxes? Because I need something back. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to be all right, Kenneth. You is kind. You is smart. And you is important. Okay, kid? And you can make it through this adult land. Even if they keep stealing from you, you're going to be all right. You is going to be all right. That's what I have to tell myself to stop from crying. So look. I hope y'all have enjoyed this terrible life of adulting. And if you're like me and you're in this adult land... May the odds forever be in your favor.